Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Amanda here. Today we're doing an old fashioned, crazy Young Living haul. I have been saving these items for the last couple weeks. Um, they're Young Living or Essential Rewards products and that there are some just random pickups. And a lot of these I got for free though using my rewards points and because I was stockpiling on things. So I figured I have so many different products, why not just do a fun little haul? So. Uh, in true 2020 fashion, I have my hair thrown up, my face is oily, I have hardly any makeup on, and we're sitting like in a corner, awkward position. But 2020, we do what we do. Oh, and as the dogs walk by, I have three dogs more roaming around my house right now. So it's going to be loud. So let's just jump right in. All right, guys. So I stocked up on the Young Living Kid Scents bath gel and shampoo for my boys and then for me i stocked up on the morning start bath and shower gel oh backwards there we go um i've used a couple different scents and so far the morning start is my absolute favorite and so i wanted to have some more of those on hand it really does like i'm not gonna say it wakes me up in the morning because i'm not a morning person but it definitely does just like okay like i can go about my day it smells good um i did stock up on some thieves hand soap refill I really enjoy this aspect of it. Um, you, instead of having to buy new hand soap every time, you can just fill them up, which this one came in a set. So we got another one, but going forward, I can always just refill with these. Um, they did it with their Luscious Lemon and I they have a couple new scents out and I'm not sure if they have the refills as well, um, but definitely something worth looking into. It just cuts back on the plastic and the pollution and I just love it. It's so much easier just to have one of these big bottles on hand versus 14 different soap bottles stacked up. So I really do enjoy that. So also, cause I already showed it, we have another Thieves hand soap and then all the pumps that come with it. Um, I also picked up for the first time the mint uh, satin facial, which I ran out of my normal uh, skincare facial that I use in the shower. And so I needed to grab something new and I'm trying to make those changes here and there to swap out for better items. And so I figured I would give this a try because I've heard really good things about it. Um, I also picked up the new hand soap and winter light, which I'm, it's like killing me not to open this and smell it right now, but I have soaps out already. So I need to wait to use those up before I open this up, but I am so excited. I love the packaging of it. It's like super round instead of like the typical kind of like flat shape. And it's, ugh, I'm just super excited. It's got like a matte white feel to it. I'm all about aesthetic, if you can't tell. Um, and then also I picked up Christmas Spirit, which is like in the kind of like the classic packaging. The dogs go running by. I have two bath hounds and we're watching our neighbors uh, St. Bernard right now. So it's loud out there. Um, Christmas Spirit is definitely a staple around the holidays. I, for one, am not a huge, huge fan of it, to be honest. Um, the scent alone, I like it blended with things. And so I'm interested to see how I will like the soap. But also when I first started using Thieves, I wasn't a huge fan of that scent at all. And now I love it. So I picked it up just as a, let's give it a try. And maybe it'll be one that I end up falling in love with. Another fun product, which I have been like eyeing these for so long. I picked up two boxes of their Roma rings. I got one in lavender and one, so many like in a row, it's hard to say. Um, aroma ring, aroma ring in Aroma Ease. And I had already opened it um, and it came with this little thing I put on my nose, or I put it on my ear, so it wasn't on my nose for the video. But it's just this little, little guy. Looks like an ear piercing or a nose piercing. Um, and it just smells like lavender. So it, I'm just putting it on my ear because it's one of the suggestions. And it can go underneath your nose or like in your septum, I guess. I got it for traveling purposes. So I'm hoping it like doesn't dry out. They come in like these little foil packets. Here, I'll show you. So I don't think it will dry out on me. We fly to Florida in April. We just did this a month ago and I would have killed to have one of these underneath my mask because the whole time you're at the airport and on the airplane, you have your mask on. So for a 12 hour flight or a 12 hour day at the airport, like you have a mask on the majority of the time. So it would have been nice to break up the smells and the hotness underneath the face mask. So that's why I picked it up and I'm super excited to give them a shot. And then the rest of these, I have to preface with the fact that there's a lot. 
and I understand that there's a lot, so do not judge me, or do, I don't really care, unless you're Ben, my husband, sorry. Um, I did a lot of restocking, but then also there's a whole bunch of diffuser blends that I've been wanting to try out, whether it's making um, some more rollers or trying some new like candle dupes, because I love, or usually loved, um, burning candles in fall and winter, but I don't do candles in my household anymore, so I found some dupes here and there and I was just missing some ingredients for them so I picked them up but I will start out with this because I did pick up like five of them because I do use them so much um is the Vitality Spearmint I really did pick up like four or five of them I use this so much if I don't have like a signature scent going I picked up five that's how much I use it um if I don't have like a like set recipe going in the diffuser like any situation um i will have spearmint and you eucalyptus rattata why is that such a hard word for me to say like i just think it sounds like i'm trying to dance while i say it and so i always get it wrong but you know what i'm saying um those are my favorite to have diffusing just the two of them like that's what i have diffusing in my room right now but i did run out of spearmint so technically right now it's the eucalyptus and wintergreen going but I love it. And also with the Vitality, it means that you can ingest it. And so when I'm getting bored with my water, I'll throw a couple drops in. In the summertime, I'm not joking, I will put this in with some like Sprite and some vodka and some lime. Oh, as I drop it. Sometimes I even just use the lime Vitality and then the Spirit Vitality. It's like my own little like wannabe mojito and I really do enjoy it. So um, I also picked up a eucalyptus blue, which I've never tried this eucalyptus before, so I'm excited for that. I picked up the new Winter Night that just came out with this new collection, which I'm so stoked for this. We all know like winter has like a signature scent, like winter and Christmas, and I'm all about it. Like I said, Christmas spirit isn't my go-to scent, so I'm hoping Winter Nights is it. I'm so excited for it. Um, I picked up Loyalty. And I picked up grounding and I actually picked up two groundings. So either I made a snafu and or one of them was, or maybe even both, I don't quite know, um, or free purchases. Because that's another aspect of the whole awesome uh, ER orders or just, which is essential rewards or just ordering in general um, for X amount of dollars or PVs, like, so points um, that you spend or use or rack up that's what i'm looking for you get free products and so also a lot of this i cashed in a lot of my rewards and i was able to get a lot of this for free too which is like absolutely beautiful um it really helps bring the prices down um i also picked up blue cypress and vanilla which this is another new one to the collection i'm so excited for this i don't know how we went this long without vanilla it ever since they released that it was coming i don't know how we survived without it, honestly and truly, because every single like amazing candle out there that I love has vanilla of some sort in it. And so the fact that we waited this long for vanilla and didn't, I personally didn't realize it was something I was missing. And now I only got the one little one and I'm gonna use it sparingly because I know I'm gonna go through it really fast, but I'm super, super excited for this. Um, I picked up Magnify Your Purpose, which is just like a really, really cute label. And we also have Idaho Blue Spruce, which I've never been able to get that one before. It's always been sold out every time I try to get it. So I was super excited for that. I was super excited to pick that up. I stocked up on some more tea tree because you can't have enough and lemongrass. I absolutely love using lemongrass to help get stains and stickiness. And I just love it. Like, look it up. There's so much you can do with lemongrass. I'm obsessed. Um, I did pick up, this is a new to us, um, Kid Sense and Kid Power, and I'm excited to use this with my kids. And then another, it's the same scent that's in this, it's the Aroma Seas, Aroma Size. I'm smart, we all know this. Um, and we also have Cardamom, and then last but not least, we picked up a refill of the Northern Lights Black Spruce because I've been going through this so much. So like this is not going to last me long enough. I've been substituting pine for this while I've been waiting for it to come in because on repeat right now, there's so many scents out there that I've been wanting to do, but I can't get past my favorite one right now, which if I'm not doing, like I said, the eucalyptus and spearmint, 
Then I have this other one going and it's four of Northern Lights Black Spruce, four of Cinnamon Bark, which some people do like do two or three. I really enjoy like the spice of Cinnamon Bark, um, two of Orange and then two to four of Peppermint. Um, I do the most out of everything and I cut back on the orange, but I am obsessed, like obsessed with that scent right now. And everyone coming to our house lately has been saying that our house smells like fireball, which I mean, we do enjoy fireball in this household, but it's super funny that they all like pick up on the cinnamon bark so much that they think I'm have a candle that smells like fireball, but no, it's essential oil. So that is my amazing haul that I recently got. Again, the setup is ridiculous. I am trying to come up with a new situation, a new flow, a new workspace. I, it's just 2020. There's no other, ex no other explanation. It's 2020. Um, so yeah, let me know what diffuser blends you have going or ones I need to try. Um, let me know what your favorite oils are so I can pick them up or if I already have them, we can geek out on them together. If you are new to Young Living or wanting to look into it, I do have a link down below. I don't do this to be like pushy. I don't do this sharing these videos to try and get people to sign up with me. I truly love these products. And if no one ever signs up with me ever again, like I'm okay with it. I use it. I love it. I got my mom into it. Like I have some friends into it. That's enough for me. I'm totally happy just building my oil collection on my own. Um, but I kind of want to share it with everybody. You know what I mean? So if you haven't already, take the time to watch the documentary um, Unscented. No, Stink. It's called Stink. The documentary Stink on Netflix. It was a huge eye opener to me. And I know that's super cliche to say like it changed my life, but it really did. I was so naive to so much chemicals that we put around us and in us on a daily basis. So definitely if you have the time, look it up, stink on Netflix. And that's what started me on this. And I'm never looking back. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, 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 subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.